Sometimes things are so different, they don't feel like they go together. But the big difference between them is what makes them great. Like chocolate and bacon. We all knew chocolate was great, but who knew it went so well with so much? Huh? <laughs> what is this? Nest quicksand. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 foods that are delicious with chocolate. For this list, we've selected the various foods that we believe pair well with chocolate, creating appetizing and interesting combinations in the process. However, we're excluding foods like cookies and cakes, not because they're not delicious, but for two reasons. You're not as likely to dip them or spread chocolate on them as you are with the foods that made the list. And because everything on this list is its own food that you may mix with chocolate, whereas chocolate cookies or chocolate cake are flavors or types of cookies and cakes. Hey, we're serious about having fun. Now, let's dig in. Number 10, bacon. You'd think mixing cooked pig with chocolate would be odd, but it's a surprisingly popular sweet and salty blend. A common trend is to cook strips of bacon, then dip them in melted chocolate and serve them as such. Milk or dark chocolate can be used, and it's typically topped with sea salt, pistachio nuts, or almond chunks. There are a few variants, but each comes out as delicious as it is perplexing. Number 9. Breads and Pastries What about a warm chocolate croissant? Oh, it's my specialty. Through glazing and melted coatings, chocolate pairs itself well with a lot of baked goods. Banana or raisin bread recipes sometimes call for a glaze made from cocoa powder and milk, while cupcakes tend to get their tops dipped in warm chocolate for an extra sugary surprise. Do you love the buttery, flaky goodness of croissant as much as you love the creamy, sweet taste of some chocolate? Then the pain au chocolat is for you. And of course, you can go real basic and schmear some hazelnut chocolate spread on your morning toast to get yourself going with breakfast. The best part of waking up. Number 8. Peanut Butter not just some contraband. Chocolate peanut butter, thanks. Turns out jam isn't peanut butter's only buddy. It's not uncommon to see peanut butter bars made with slices of chocolate. Just take a look at Reese's peanut butter cups. Hey! Oh, hey, you got your chocolate on my peanut you got butter! You peanut butter on my chocolate! What? Like, what? Two great tastes that taste great together. Brownies benefit from having both the richness of chocolate and the creaminess of peanut butter. Not to mention, there are healthier options too. Yogurt pops and homemade oatmeal occasionally rely on a combination of the two. Number 7. Caramel. I wish I had some chocolate caramel. Sticky and sweet, a fitting blend. Many websites detail recipes for chocolate-covered caramels, with the combination providing a delightful treat. Milk Duds are perhaps the best-known name brand, dating back to 1926. Sea salt is a recurring condiment for such delicacies, likely to balance out the natural sweetness of such snacks. And if you have an interest in them, chocolate cupcakes also find a use for caramel, as a liquid filling contained within their center. Number 6. Marshmallows In just a few hours, you'll be sitting around a campfire with Andy making delicious hot schmoes. They're called s'mores, Buzz. Right, right, of course. Even away from the comfort of a campfire, marshmallows and chocolate are forever delicious together. We'd say s'mores are the way to go to enjoy this flavor combo. Two graham crackers with a warm, toasty marshmallow and chocolate filling. Denmark actually has a tradition reaching back to the 1800s of coating marshmallow treats in chocolate. And many countries ran with the idea. The United Kingdom has the chocolate tea cake, Israel has the crembo, Canada has whippet cookies, and so forth. Whip it like the dog? No, like when you suck nitrous out of a whipped cream can. It's certainly widespread and fluffy as can be. Marshmallows and chocolate? <sighs> I once watched you eat a whole package in three and a half minutes. Number five, pretzels. There is no way that you're putting a giant pretzel inside me. Listen, buddy, I'm not too thrilled about this either. Coming back to a blend of sweet and salty flavors, we have the Mighty Pretzel. Hard pretzels come in many varieties, sticks, loops, braids, little letters, and the standard twisty pretzel shape. The coatings also vary. Sometimes they're drizzled with white chocolate, sometimes they're dipped in milk chocolate and sprinkled with candy. Even soft pretzels can be given the chocolate coating treatment, something we're definitely not complaining about. Would you like a chocolate-covered pretzel? 
They're a little melty, but damn, are they exquisite. And if I remember correctly, you're a big pretzel fan. Number four, coffee. You know what could really help you sort through these important issues? What? Orange mocha frappuccino! <laughs> <laughs> How do you make a good cup of joe even better? Add chocolate, of course. A classic example would be the cafe mocha, an espresso-based drink with either cocoa powder or chocolate syrup mixed in. The mocha is a staple of many coffee-oriented franchises, though it is by no means the only chocolate coffee mixture. Out of the United States came the chocolate-covered coffee bean, a caffeine-rich treat with a slightly sweet, slightly bitter flavor. Though it's said to be an acquired taste, we admire the willingness to experiment. Number three, milk. I'm sorry, is that chocolate milk? Can I? I'm so sorry, I don't know what Chocolate milk has long been a beloved beverage for families, not only because of its delicious taste, but also for its ease of creation. It requires only basic milk and some form of chocolate, powdered, syrup, melted, whatever, so long as the chocolate is there. Additionally, hot chocolate recipes can sometimes require warm milk as an ingredient, while more milk-heavy milkshakes call for chocolate sauce as a surface condiment. There's no shortage of ways for milk and chocolate to come together as one, and we couldn't be more glad. I almost drowned in chocolate milk mix! Number two, nuts. You, me, macadamia nuts. <laughs> They're a tasty snack that only gets better with the added flavor. Not to mention, there's plenty of variety. Macadamia nuts, for instance, get enrobed in chocolate either individually or as a cluster. Peanuts in a milk chocolate shell have become a staple of movie theaters. Perhaps you're familiar with Nestle's Goobers, a brand the company purchased in 1984. Chocolate-covered almonds are such a delicacy that they have their own holiday, known as America's National Milk Chocolate with Almonds Day. When a snack gets that kind of publicity, you know that's the sign of some tasty chocolate. I wish I had your courage. I wish I had chocolate bar with almonds. I got them. Before we dig into our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Chocolate, Chocolate covered chairs? Yeah. Oh. Oh. The classic combination. Strawberries, cherries, raisins, and more. It all tastes good when coated in a nice layer of chocolate, whether dipped in chocolate fondue or otherwise. Besides the buffet staple of chocolate fountains, there is a long-standing tradition of selling fruit covered in chocolate. Caramel apples sometimes have chocolate added for decoration. Cordial candy is made up of a chocolate shell and fruit filling and the widespread appeal of chocolate-coated raisins speaks for itself. It's a fun mix, and one we're hoping stays around for as long as possible. Chocolate with raisins in it. Yeah, yeah, that's what kids want with their chocolate. Fruit. Why don't you put sunflower seeds in the ding-dongs while you're at it? Is that part of your stand-up act? I don't know. Do you like it? I wouldn't open with it. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite food to eat with chocolate? For more delectable top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Have a decaf mocha to go? Mm -hmm. One decaf mocha?